So we're going to continue our discussion on the normal physiological hemostasis and in this video we're going to talk about we're going to talk about just the cell wall and how the cell wall participates or contributes to this normal uh, physiological hemostasis. Let me scroll down here. So in this so this picture here kind of ex, um, describes primary hemostasis. So primary hemostasis is um, this process. So it, we kind of talked about these endothelial cells that are here and if these endothelial cells get damaged, if these endothelial cells get damaged and there's space here where this where this collagen or this ECM is exposed, what happens is there's a factor that's called von Willebrand's um, factor, VWF, and there are the, there are these little um, little proteins, if you will, that kind of are attached in in the extracellular matrix in this collagen here, and they are really really attracted to platelets. So you have platelets here that are attracted to this von Willebrand factor. And what happens is these platelets, as you can see, they're kind of more of a round, a round uh, dome, if you will. And what happens when they attach to this von Willebrand factor, they actually undergo a shape change and they become more flat, more discs to increase the surface area. And then once they're attached, then they start releasing all these little all these little particles here into the bloodstream and these these particles are ADP and TXA2 these are these particles that are released into this bloodstream here and what they cause is they cause recruitment they cause more um, platelets to come and start stacking up so you get you know these pancakes stacked on top of each other and they start to form a plug. This plug is called a hemostatic plug. Now this hemostatic plug is the tempor is a temporary solution. Um, this 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 hemostatic plug is not the best it is not a long term fix. It's a, just a short term fix and, it, and this happens very quickly to kind of stop bleeding, stop hemorrhaging from or stop blood from leaking out into these tissues. So that is called primary hemostasis. And this is all because of the endothelium and the cell wall, uh, you know, the kind of the cell wall events that that initiate this um, hemostasis or this blood clot, the stopping of blood flow from oozing out into the extracellular matrix. Now the second chain of events um, after this primary hemostasis it happens is secondary hemostasis. So in secondary hemostasis what happens is these endothelial cells they start secreting um, tissue factor. This is called tissue factor. So tissue factor and it starts these phospholipid um, on the on these platelets here, this cell membrane, these phospholipids, it starts, um, it causes them to start expressing certain receptors here, and it, it's part of the coagulation cascade. But ult ultimately, and we're going to talk about the coagulation uh, cascade in in great detail. So tissue factor goes is a participates in this coagulation cascade and ultimately produces the molecule thrombin. So what thrombin does is it converts fibrinogen, fibrinogen to fibrin. Okay? And then fibrin gets deposited among these cells here of these platelets. And then fib fibrinogen is just circulating in the bloodstream as a kind of an inactive not really in doing anything molecule and then as soon as thrombin comes around um, that 
tissue factor is released from these endothelial cells and ultimately causes thrombin to be produced, then thrombin converts fibrinogen to fibrin. And fibrin is this uh, insoluble, insoluble um, molecule that kind of just it's, it's, it forms a mesh between these these platelets and it, it forms this kind of more stable plug if you will and this is called secondary hemostasis so after the secondary hemostasis process has happened what prevents this cascade from getting out of control and growing and growing and growing and growing and eventually occluding this whole blood vessel well these anti-thrombitic thrombitic, counter-regulation mechanisms come into play. So these endothelial cells, after they, after this platelet plugged has, has grown and grown and grown, they start releasing TPA and thrombomodulin. And these, these TPA molecules and this thrombomodulin what they do is they prevent this platelet plug from growing up and they kind of uh, they start breaking it down a little bit and this TPA um, causes this fibrin to be eaten up it chews away this fibrin so this fibrin is now degraded so if I uh, let me get you know so if I started like chewing away chewing away chewing away this the, you know this fibrinolysis is it starts eating away this platelet plug so that it doesn't occlude the whole vessel and so that is a really important process these TPA molecules and this thrombomodulin for these endothelial cells to secrete so that this platelet plug doesn't keep growing and growing and growing and eventually occluding this whole uh, blood vessel because the, the purpose is just to prevent it from going into the extracellular matrix and not occluding this whole blood vessel.